The wait is over, and Code GUI is finally here. If you've been paying attention to the updates in the Discord server and also the latest community posts, you should know that Encode GUI is the successor application to Frame GUI and is all around much better to use than Frame GUI. In this video, we will briefly be taking a look at the basic functionality of Encode GUI. Let's dive right into it. Looking at the Frame GUI survey that I posted a while back, there were five questions I asked in order to support the development of Encode GUI. I'm glad to say that nearly all of the feature requests for Encode GUI in the Frame GUI survey were implemented in the initial release. A list of key features are available at EncodeGUI.com. Now let's take a look at the actual program. This guide will only show you the basic functionality of Encode GUI. More in-depth official video guides for Encode GUI will be released later. Once you have downloaded the installer file from EncodeGUI.com, open it and follow the directions in the setup wizard to install Encode GUI. There are a lot of dependencies for Encode GUI so the installation may take a long time. Upon opening, you will see the main window pop up. The documentation for each function and control in Encode GUI is available on EncodeGUI.com as well. However, as of making this video, these docs are still under construction and are expected to be posted in a few days. In the meantime, there are tooltips for nearly all controls in Encode GUI that you can use to help guide you. The first thing you will want to do is select a source video by clicking the Select Input button. Unlike Frame GUI, Encode GUI will accept any video as an input that can be decoded by FFmpeg. If in the case you don't want to select an input and only want to use a sample video, then you can check the sample video checkbox and then the sample video will be loaded. I'll be using the sample video for the short guide. The next thing we want to do is to select the video codec that we would like to use and also define the state of the audio and subtitles if applicable. For this guide, I'll just be using the AVC codec and selecting pass through for the audio stream. Moving on, you want to go to the video tab and select the AVC or whatever codec you selected tab and in there will be the encoding settings for the associated codec. I won't be making many changes here, only adjusting the CRF value to 17. Once you have finished defining the encoding settings, you can now select an output container and then save the output file destination by clicking the save output button. Once saved, click the add job button and then you'll get a message that looks like this explaining that the job has been successfully added to the queue. To start the jobs in the queue, simply select the start button and let Encode GUI do its magic. While the job queue is running, if at any time you need to pause or cancel the current job, you can do so on the main page or in the job queue by right clicking the job and selecting the option you want. Once all of the jobs in the queue are finished, you can go to the output destination to see the final encoded video. I hope this introduction video of Encode GUI was helpful and I appreciate everyone's patience while it was in its development state. Be sure to subscribe with notifications so that you won't miss any new official video tutorials regarding Encode GUI. Thanks and I'll catch you all later.